Yeah, hi there, and I am Michael Buckoff, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-Step System to Pass a TOEFL IBT. And uh, you contacted me at Facebook, and let's take a look at your situation. You say, I saw your post in the IELTS and TOEFL. We are a group of Sudanese trying to improve our English language. We have uh, WhatsApp and Facebook group. Okay. So then the question is, how can you improve your English? And what I'm going to tell you right now will change your life. You will be able to improve your English. You're going to be able to reach your goals. And it's not going to cost a lot of money for you to do this. All right. The main thing is, if you're motivated and you want to learn English and you don't want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars at intensive English programs all over the United States or maybe even in your country, uh, you will be able to get better. Okay, so let's take a look at what you can do. Yeah, the first thing that you can do is to start reading, if you're not doing this already, start reading every day for about 45 minutes. So my recommendation is to use newspapers, magazines, and longer books. As you're reading, make sure you're taking down notes so you can be a little more of an active reader. When you see words you're not sure about, don't even stop. Don't worry about it. The main thing is to get more comfortable reading in English. Now the next thing is to practice listening for about 45 minutes every day. This is also important. Again, make sure that you're taking down notes on the main and the most important supporting points of these reading and listening passages. Now my third suggestion is to write maybe three 250 word summaries each week. This is very important. You're now reading and listening, but you're now writing about what you're reading and you're listening using your notes. This is also very good language practice. And by the way, it will also help prepare you for the TOEFL or the IELTS exams. Now the fourth thing I recommend give three 60-second oral summaries each week. I think this is also very beneficial for you. Again, you're reading, listening, but you're also writing and speaking about this information. These things are all very, very important. Now, as you're doing your listening practice, if you need, if you don't have English TV, I'm going to give you three websites that you can use. These are all free to you. National Public Radio, TED Talks, and then you have Randall's Cyber Listening Lab. So these three websites will give you some excellent practice with your listening comprehension abilities. Again, the purpose here is to focus on the most important points. If you cannot understand everything in the lectures or the discussions, don't worry about it. you got to start somewhere, right? So then, let's get to the next idea here. I'm going to go to point number five. Then I'm going to recommend that you join my online TOEFL course. I think it's going to be very, very beneficial for you. And guess what? It's not going to bust your budget. So let's take a look at how you can do that. This is actually my online TOEFL course. If you go to onlinetoeflcourse.com, you can learn about my vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, reading, listening, speaking, writing sections of my course. And then if you need to, you can take full-length practice tests at some point. Your first step is to click on the join right at the top there. This takes you to my web page and you can learn more about how to join my course and basically what you're doing here is you're creating a subscription. Now if you cannot use PayPal, you're not sure about how to use PayPal, you can go to the FAQs page of my website and there are additional payment options. Remember, my payments are only $38 a month right now. Very inexpensive for you. So you can, if you don't have a credit card or PayPal is not accepted, you can follow the instructions on this web page. Alright, so what do you do? My recommendation is 
because you're wanting to improve your overall English abilities, and I'm assuming that you might need English for either academic or for business purposes. So for either way, you definitely need to improve your English. So your first step is, is to, once you join my course, I recommend go through the vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar sections first. Do these first. This will probably take you maybe one to three months. But it's important that you get a base. You definitely need to get your foundation in English first. So as you work in the vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar sections, you'll definitely improve your basic academic English language abilities. Then you want to go through the listening and the reading sections, I think, of my course. I would take another one to two months uh, doing this. Then the third thing is to go through the writing and the speaking sections of my course. I recommend maybe two to three months here. And if you can do that, so you're probably looking right now at roughly maybe two to four hours a day every day for several months and you will begin to improve your academic English language abilities. All right, now let's take a look at my course. Once you subscribe and become one of my students, you will have complete access to all of these lessons. So, as you can see here, this is the vo vocabulary. Here's the pronunciation section I told you about. You can see all the lessons here. And th this is the grammar part of my course here. It's very important that you take that pretest so you can diagnose what possible problems you're having, I think, with your grammar at this point. Then you can go to the listening section of my course, as I said, and I have many listening practice tests to help you. Then you go to the reading area. Here I have many reading, speed reading tests, actually, to help you improve your speeding rate all the way to 350 words a minute. The writing section of my course, I have different lessons and exercises to improve the organization development of your writing. I have many independent and integrated writing practice tests that you can practice and guess what? At no extra cost to you my teaching assistant will score all the writing practice tests that you submit and then we have the speaking section of my course. Again you'll have different lessons that help you to organize and develop your responses Now you can see in the speaking, we have different kinds of speaking practice tests. I even have over 300 topics that you can practice and start posting on the internet today. And let me show you how this works. So what you do is, let's say you click here and you get some of my speaking topics and you want to post them and you want me to listen and respond. Uh, you just, let's say you want to do um, number 35, what is better in your opinion, face-to-face -face communication or other forms of communication such as email or phone, why? So you're going to go over to my website, I have what's called a a Foxy Pop discussion group here. This is where you get speaking practice, even if you don't need the TOEFL, it doesn't matter, I will help you and I've had students who need the IELTS or the TOEFL exams or other people that just want to work on their speaking abilities. So what will happen is, is, let's take a look here. So this is one of my students right now. So she answered uh, independent speaking practice test number eight. Which of the following do you prefer, working for a small company or working for a big company? So she answers a question here. Making friends and easy to get along with other co-workers. That is why I prefer working in a small company. So then, she takes about 48 seconds or 46 seconds to answer this question, and then I give her comments here. Yeah, hi there. And these comments are for uh, Faduma, and I am Michael, the founder, owner. And so what I will do is, M.A., is I will actually give her comments in terms of her pronunciation, language use, and also development. 
So then she listens to my comments. I typically will recommend a few lessons for her to review. And then tomorrow she posts another speaking practice test for me to evaluate. So as you post your writing and speaking practice test and your pronunciation pretest for that matter, you'll make a few adjustments, you'll improve, you'll get better, and eventually, probably in a few months, you will definitely have much better academic English language abilities. And that's kind of how it works. That's how my course works. So I'd love to have you as one of my students. And uh, remember, just go over to onlinetoeflcourse.com, click on the Join button, and you can become one of my students today, and you can start improving your English immediately. So let's recap. I just kind of did a recap of different things that you can do. So first of all, uh, to answer your questions, I had a, how many points? I had five different things that you can start doing. So you're practicing your English beginning today, maybe two to five hours a day, going through the, the things that I suggested in this particular video. All right? And once you become one of my students, remember, I am only an email away. You can always send me a message or contact me at Facebook like you did when you have questions.